Hey guys, welcome back to episode 18 of Let's Fight and Bloodborne. Um, so this is where we started off, uh, where we ended last time. I'm not actually going to go through this way though. I'm going to go back and I'm going to fight that large boar that was in the swampy area. I shouldn't have gone up here, but oh well. Yeah, let's lose a bit of health, why not? It's only, blo it's only Bloodborne. <laughs> um, yep, alright, let's run around here. I want to just get back into the water and uh, take out that boar, and then there's a few en few more enemies to go, and then the, finally the boss. Oh, the boss. The boss is going to be a pain, I just know it. I'm going to lose, and I'm going to hate it. Uh, let's go this way first, just to make sure that we are going the right way. Yep. Alright, the boar, I think, is at the very end, and he he sort of starts around here, I think on this little island. Um, well not island, peninsula, uh, and then he sort of, yeah, he walks over there, so there he is, and this is a problem because he charges really quickly. The real big problem about this, like, boar is that he's very large, and, oh, nearly, wow, how on earth did the game let me dodge that one? Thank you, game. For once. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I cannot believe I dodged that. Okay. Let's go under here. Whoa! What are witches? I forgot about you. Oh god, stay away from me. See, I don't know what these guys can do, but I know that they're very slow, and as long as you don't get too up close and friendly with them, you'll be fine. Okay. Alright, Blood Vial. Dissipating Lake. I'm sure that's... Let's see, I'm going to guess that's... Um, rapid Poison Resist. Nope, Bolt Damage Reduction. <laughs> We're talking about um, Lightning Resist equipment in the last game. And we get Bolt Damage Reduction. But there's like very, very few enemies that use Bolt Damage, as it's called in this game. Kill him. Yeah, alright. I did not think my weapon would reach, but it did. Also, um, I was talking a few episodes ago about... Actually, quite a few episodes ago. Oh god, another boar. Um, hang on a sec, let's go over here. Is there anything over here that I missed? No. I was talking a few episodes ago about um, how like you can leave a delay in order to you know change up how your how you attack and uh, you know when you need to release your each attack and all that kind of stuff oh yeah this boar actually this boar is taken out pretty well if you just stay here and then oh famous last words oh no this is not good I am kind of stuck actually quick heal God, wow, that could have been nasty. Yes! <laughs> okay, what you're supposed to do is probably wait up there until the attack goes off and then jump down and use R1 uh, for a falling attack. But yeah, if you leave, you know, like a, a little bit of a gap between each of your attacks when you're fighting, so you can go one that barely reaches and then you can use that third one which didn't go off this time. But, um,. Yeah, if you leave that tiny gap, sometimes that can be the difference between um, killing him and not killing him. Ah, okay. Is that what I was seeing before? No. Alright. There's the arena for the boss. Oh man, I am not ready for this boss. <laughs> and I don't want to lose all my blood echoes. That's that's one annoying thing about this is that... Um, well... Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to bite the bullet and use the Bolt Hunter's Mark here. Um, I'd rather use the Bolt Hunter's Mark to go spend and use my um, Blood Echoes to make sure that I don't waste them. Um, and then... Oh my god, please. Uh, and then just sort of rush back. Because if you remember, I got the, the shortcut from that particular area, so all I have to do is get back there, and then I can get here pretty quickly. Oh boy. 
that was a close one. Alright, I think he's the only guy there. What's this one? Clockwise Metamorphosis. This increases... is it health? Yeah. So, yeah, and I can actually prove that I got level 2 because this one is 5%, this one's 10%. Uh, wait, no, I can't prove it because I could have just put different values for it. But I'm pretty sure this is level 2. Um, yeah, so this one you can get a higher uh, HP percentage. It's pretty good as well. Um, I feel that the stamina one is more worthwhile. Um, like that clockwise rune would have been really useful to have during the Bloodstarved Beast fight because um, it would have saved me having to use... well, maybe it would have saved me having to use... Um, wait, what? Oh, is this all there is? Hmm. There isn't any more. Um, what am I referencing there? <laughs> Madeline? I think it was Madeline. Yeah, I, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I'm sure there was something else. Or is that... Oh, no, yeah, that's it, that's it. I thought there was something else, but that's it. Alright, let me just... I'm not going to fight the boss, but I just want to have a look at... Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so the boss arena is through there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Bolt Hunter's Mark, and it's going to take me back to the last used checkpoint. Now, the last used checkpoint is... Well, I know which one it is, but I have to figure out how to get to the other checkpoint now. Because I don't want to go through all that again. Oh, no. <laughs> how do I get there? Um, okay, there. There. So, where the hell do I start? I legitimately can't remember. Oh, I know, I know, yeah, I know how to do it. We have to use this shortcut to reach the area where the other shortcut is. So you have to use that shortcut, then go to the next shortcut, and then you can run to the to the boss. Oop. Oops. All right, um, let's level up. Actually, let's not. Let's go, like, repair weapons and have a look at if we can fortify, change a few runes and stuff like that. That's actually another big deal, like, it's not just the echoes, but changing runes. Um, alright, so we got another triangle one. Now, is it any good? That is the question. Yes, it is. It is a lot better. Excellent, we're using it. What about this one? Oh! Poison effect. Oh yeah! Gonna put this one on here. Don't really need the slow poison effect. It's too minimal to make a difference. Um, you know, it's only gonna count if you actually manage to poison them. That that's the the big deal about it. If you can poison them with it, then good. But if you can't, it's not worth it. All right. So let's see. Physical damage reduction. We want to keep max blood. Uh, oh yeah, we can take this one off the quicksilver bullets. So we're going to chuck on the anti-clockwise metamorphosis, so we can use more stamina. I'll show you his HP. Mm. I know that... I know that this one is good for later. Would it be good enough for now? How much HP would I get if I boosted it by 5%? Almost... Wait. 20% of a thousand would be 200, so it's 50. So I'd get like just under 50 more. Mm, it's not that much. And the stamina, yeah, I was right, it's 11.7, so I went to 128. Yeah, I think the stamina is better. Alright, what else can I use? Have I still got my hand lantern on? No. So let's leave it on. Fire paper. Was that useful here? No, I don't think it was. Alright, um, let's have a look here. Oh, and I also want to check the inside vendor. Anything I could sell? I could sell Quicksilver bullets, but I won't just yet. Oh, wait, hang on. I've got the uh, blood, blood chunk. Can I use it? Or No, I probably need more. Now that I think about it. Let's have a look around here. Anything new? 
still could buy this stuff, but nah. Let me go check if I can actually use the blood chunk. Come on. I think I need like three of them, but... Yeah, I need three of them. Damn. That would have been a nice big upgrade. Alright, let's check the insight vendor. Anything useful? Ooh, Henrik's set. Oh, that's where Henrik's set is. I was wondering, I was like... Oh. Uh, I think the trousers are the best, actually, out of those two. Let's have a look. Again, with that stupid beast hood thing that I have no idea about. Alright, Henrik's cap. Good bolt resistance. Pretty good, actually. I think I might actually use that. Blunt, arcane fire. No, the next boss has a good, I think, quite a large amount of fire damage. Oh, should I use it? That white church hat looks seems so good. <laughs> it's really hard to make the decision sometimes. 110, 150 bolt resist. Enric's trousers. Mm. Pretty sure it's a fire boss. I remember there being a lot of fire. Oh, should I use it? Should I use it? Should I use it? The charred hunter set would be nice. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to change anything for yet. I will show off. Um, I remembered the other day that I forgot to show off um, the adornments. So let's have a look. Messenger top hat. Suave. Black messenger hat. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, bloody messenger rib uh, ribbon. Yeah, that looks even worse than the red messenger bandage. Red messenger ribbon. How does this one look compared? Oh, okay. So yeah, the bloody one is a lot more bloody. And the messenger urn festival. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, let's leave the messenger top hat on. Yay. <laughs> Alright, let us go and take on that guy after I level up. Oh, man, I'm pretty sure he's fire. Welcome, Woody. In fact... Alright, um... Let's have a look, so let's increase strength. Endurance... 5,000? Yeah, that's good. 130, 252, 38... Yeah, let's go with this. Alright, cool. Farewell, good Please, for the love of God, let me be able to beat them. Alright, and what I'm going to do real quick while I'm loading up the Forbidden Woods is I'm just going to open my notes here and see if I can find where it is. Uh... Yeah, so the, there's a there's one that does use fire magic. Hmm. So Hmm. All right, yeah. I think I'm going to leave my gear set like this. I was thinking about changing it, but only one of them can use fire, so we should be fine. Alright. Um, actually... No, I'll leave this in, because uh, I want to make sure that if people want to know how to get there, I'll, um, I'm showing them the right way. Okay, so basically what we do is we go through... Can I jump from here? No. <laughs> we go through that shortcut. We come to here, just drop down here to take this smaller shortcut, kill this Cobra Bob. Hey, look at that difference, 666, how appropriate. <laughs> okay, then we go through here, just make sure the Cobra Bob's up there, yep. Go all the way to this side, and then pull up this elevator, and that will give us the shortcut to... Uh, the sort of lake area with the two large boars. Alright, and I don't want to get any more blood echoes for right now, I just want to fight the boss, there's no reason for me to get any more for the time being. And wrong side again. 
right, so we'll just... Oh, I guess I'll kill this guy, because this guy can be a pain. He doesn't really look like it sometimes, but he can literally be a pain to... <laughs> literally. Um, he can be a real pain. Uh, Alright, so we're going this way. Should I just rush there? Yeah, why not? Hello. Please don't kill me. Okay, that's one. I go past. Just want to gather up my stamina. Run again. Oh, oh, there he is. I was like, hang on, where's the other one? All right, skip him. Yeah, you can just run past a lot of enemies in this game, but it is definitely not <laughs> uh, advised. All right, here we go. I don't know if this one has a cutscene. Nope. Start straight away. Alright. This gravestone is very important. Which one's the fire one? That one over there. What you want to do is you want to try and use this gravestone as a shield to avoid taking damage from, at, at the very least, the fire mage. Um, these guys are called the Shadows of Yharnam. Just sort of swing with, with the L2. And uh, well, I guess that one does use fire magic. Okay. But the other one uses it much worse. As you can see, I've sort of almost essentially nullified him by using the gravestone. Let's go this way. There we go. These two guys will always come out, but... And if you stay too close, you can actually get hit... Clip. Whoa, what the crap happened there? Alright, let's just keep realigning yourself with, with the gravestone and, and it'll make life a lot easier. Oh, that was risky. Dodge at the last second. Get a few good swings in. Oh no, that's not good. That's really not good. Please, why did you do that? Okay, here we go. Let's run around. It's kind of hard to get a good... Like... Oh, really? Freaking gravestone. Thank god it didn't do too much damage. Here we go, here we go. Ah! Alright, here we go. Now we're in an okay position. Now the worst part of this fight is that it's yet to come. Please. Yes! Yeah, and here it comes. They're all gonna become Cobra Mobs, essentially. I haven't done too much damage to this one. Yeah. They become Cobra Bobs and that guy gets a lot tougher. Actually, they all get a lot tougher. If you can take one down, you can basically win. Not always, I mean, they'll still be able to kill you regardless, but... No, 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 no. Thank God. But look at that attack. Damn. Wait for them to attack and then retaliate. Okay, I'm going to use a blood file. Oh, come on, this is going alright. No, don't hit me with that. He's almost dead. I'm going to see if I can throw one of these. Yes! Did I get him? Yes, alright, cool. <laughs> alright, two more to go. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, that was risky, but it worked, paid off. Just keep using this this gravestone as your no oh, as your buffer. Oh my god! Yes, clipped him. Okay, run around, run around. He's almost dead, and then it's just the fire one left. Oh no. I can't see what's going on. How did I roll there? I was targeted on him. Yeah, trying to untarget and retarget it again as well is very helpful. Alright, so let's have a look. Alright, cool. Risky. Nope! Yes. No. Wait for it. 
Now. Got him. Alright, one to go. Come on, this is going well. Alright, here we go. I oh, that's right! No, I forgot about this! Oh god, I forgot about this. Yeah, for some reason, they decided to add that in at the end. <laughs> Alright, I don't think you can use that, like, too many times. And your objective is essentially just to stay away, so let's let him fire. Yep. Damn. Don't use it again. Yeah, this one's dangerous. Please. Yes, come on. <laughs> Please, God, let me kill him. Oh, he's dead, he's dead. Come on. Throw that freaking Molotov. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Oh, thank God. Oh, Shadow of Yarnum. Alright. <laughs> yes! That fight. Oh, boy. I am so happy I got that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Boss fight number six down. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, there are 16, uh, 15 boss fights. Oh, well, sort of 16, sort of 17 in a way as well. Um, yes, let's go to the Hunter's Dream. We'll finish off. We'll just go quickly to the Hunter's Dream and we'll, um, we'll level up a little bit more. Uh, I'll show you the that rune that we just got, the Blood Rapture rune. And is that it? I think that's it. All right, Blood Rapture. Uh, visceral attacks restore HP. Now, if you, as I said, if you're proficient with visceral attacks, that is very useful. If you're like me, however, and you suck at visceral attacks, or you suck at like parrying, parrying with uh, the pistol, and therefore suck at getting a decent amount of um, uh, visceral attacks to actually make that rune useful, then it's useless. <laughs> um, okay, so let me just have a quick look at Henrik's gloves, just make sure that those weren't the ones that I was using. Nah, these ones aren't that great either. Alright, cool. We'll just level up. I think I can only level up once, maybe? Uh, yeah, once. Ooh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm gonna level up stamina, or endurance, and then I'm going to... 600's not going to be enough, so I'm going to... What can I... Oh, I'll quickly use... How many should I use? Let's use... Two of these. That should be enough. Almost. I don't know the numbers off by heart. So that was... Wait, two of these meant 2,000. So let's use... Four of these. Oh, whoops. Bit too much. Or was it? No, that looks alright actually. Yeah, 1108, I think it will be. 1009. Uh, so, right hand weapon 255. Awesome. Yep. Okay. So, that's it for this episode. Um, alright, what was the name of. Okay, Forbidden Grave. So, yep. Next time, I'm going to start at uh, where that I just beat that boss fight, Shadow of Yarnum. And. We're going to continue forward, there's a, an area, like, the area that we're going to next cuts off, like, it, it sort of stops there. Um, so we're going to reach a, a dead end, and then we're going to go back to, like, some older stuff and work our way through there. Um, but yeah, that's it for episode 18 of Bloodborne, Let's Platinum Bloodborne, I'm Ultima456, see you guys next time.